Hi guys, um, it's your friend Deceptive here. Now normally I do a vlog style thing with my camcorder, but just before I went live with yesterday's stream, I got the news that my friend that you see right here, this is my friend Eddie, Eddie Horvath. Um, I got the news that my friend Eddie had taken his own life. Um, I have, I'd known Eddie for, God, 13, 14 years. He had been there for me through thick and thin. When I seriously started thinking about getting back into tattooing, as you can see here, guys, this is my shader gun. Um, Eddie had a tattoo parlor and he took me under his wing and was showing me the ropes and everything else and Eddie I love you brother I'll always miss you in the whole of my heart my friend I'll always miss you my friend now on to something a little bit more serious, guys. Uh, beyond serious of that. Oh, God, Eddie, why? Anyway. Um, I want to talk about the presidential election. I want to talk about Trump. I want to talk about Hillary. I want to talk about all the little freaking uh, crybaby, asshole, douchebag, McFuck nuggets that are running around Twitter right now, you know, saying, oh, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's the Nazi party, Nazi party 2.0 and all this other shit. Lacey Green, shut the fuck up, all right? You're not a clairvoyant. You're a fat-faced, four-eyed fuck that tries to give sexual advice to fucking 13, 14, and 15-year-old kids, you pervert. I'm sorry, but you are. You're a fucking pervert. Um... Casey Neistat and all these other big YouTubers and, and guys watching this video, please send this part of the video to these big YouTubers. I'm not asking for them to, to argue with me or anything. I just want them to, to listen and read this. My channel's tiny. Pissing the fucking ocean to theirs. But here, here it goes. How about you stop piss moaning and complaining that your per the person you voted for didn't win and actually get past the fact that you just witnessed democracy democracy in action that you just witnessed democracy happen stop complaining stop crying stop whining stop bitching because there are some countries out there that don't even have democracy North Korea Cuba China they don't have democracy. They don't have the ability to vote in their leaders. Their leaders decide with a freaking barrel of a gun pointed to the base of your skull. Here, you got to exercise your goddamn constitutional fucking freedoms. Stop crying. Stop whining. Stop bitching. Suck it up, buttercup. Put on your big boy pants. Stop throwing your toys out the pram. And fucking act your age, not your shoe size. Okay? It's that fucking simple. Stop with these online petitions of, oh, let's impeach Trump. He hasn't even done anything. He's not even technically a freaking president yet. He's the president-elect. Do you know what that means? It means if anything happens to President Obama and the Vice President Joe Biden right now, yes, he is next in line. But it also means that when the President of the United States steps down, he then has to take the Pledge of Allegiance. And let's make sure he gets it right the first time, unlike President Obama, who actually fucked it up. Yes, the public fucking Pledge of Allegiance he did, he fucked it up. 
and to save time, they redid the Pledge of Allegiance inside the White House correctly. Do a little bit of research. And like I said, just because he's not the favorite, but he did win the swing states. Think about all the previous presidents that weren't the favorite, but still won and still did a damn good job. I'm not talking about his businesses that some have gone belly up somehow. I was originally a, a, a Bernie Sanders supporter. So don't look at me and say, ah, oh, I'm a Trump supporter. I'm not. You can actually go back to my Facebook. Okay, you can go all the way back to my Facebook posts. Every single bloody one of them. Okay. Literally, you can go back to every single one of my Facebooks. Go to my profile. Go back. All the way back. And you'll see that I'm nothing but a Bernie supporter. And no doesn't mean I supported Hillary. I even wrote Bernie Sanders in. I voted third party on everything this year. Myself, my wife, everyone else. Because we looked at what they were offering and then we looked at how they're going to give it. Here's a hint for all you Hillary supporters. Go back, watch all of our little town hall meetings that were recorded and every single one was recorded. Whether it be a, a local guy with a camcorder who posts it on YouTube or whether it be a political analytic analytical show okay like a uh, 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 real time with Bill Maher etc etc and you can literally watch Hillary flip flop like a fucking slinky on everything one state she's pro gun next state she's anti gun one state she's pro abortion next state she's anti abortion one state she's pro, next one she's against. She flip-flopped more than a fucking light switch in a factory full of OCD people. Do you really want that as your president-elect? She'd say or do anything, anything to get into that White House. Even, even neglecting her own health. Why did she have a, a, a doctor on call? 24-7 that literally stood right next to her posing as a bodyguard hmm do you really want a fragile frail mentally unstable and unhealthy person in the White House and that comment can go for both Trump and Hillary that's my whole point you're so busy yelling at each other right now ah! The, you're not looking at the damage that you're doing beyond the person you're yelling at. You're not looking at the damage that you're doing to yourself, to your reputation, to your subscription base, to your follower base, to whatever, to anyone who, and whoever looks up at you, who elevates you, who treats you like celebrities. And I don't count YouTubers as celebrities. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't, I, I have a few people that I subscribe to on YouTube that I actually do know, that I actually do talk to, that I actually have uh, got added to my Skype information. One of them's a big YouTuber, yes, and he does talk to me. Thank you, David. But we don't talk about politics, we don't talk about money. Those are the two things that we do not talk about. We also don't talk about subs and view counts, we don't. Not everything is business. Not everything is all this, all that, all me, all the time. Be humble, you stupid motherfucker. Yeah, wah. The person you voted for didn't get in. Wah. You don't see me complaining. You don't see me starting rallies, destroying everything, screaming Bernie or bust, Bernie or bust, Bernie or bust, do you? No. I even sent a tweet directly at... Donald Trump directly at him here yeah, I even show it to you
Where did I put it? There you go. Tweets and replies. Real Donald Trump. I would like to congratulate you on becoming leader of the free world. Right there. Right there. See? Cite your sources. Cite your sources. Cite your sources. And no one ever would. No one ever cited their sources. No one. Oh, oh, he's grabbed by the pussy and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. Now, I'm about to drop a, a, a truth nuke on you here. Not a truth bomb, truth nuke. Everybody on this planet, every human being on this planet, has, or at one point in their life, will masturbate, and or have a dirty thought about someone. Wet dream, have a post up on their wall, and think, oh, yeah, oh, oh, and rub one out. Every single human being. It's called desire. And it's an emotional trait that every human being on this planet will have. Some people express it by said poster, by said five knuckle shuffle. Some people express it by grab her by the pussy. So, and here's a hint, did he deny it? No. Did he say, oh, it wasn't me, that was Billy Bush or, or whoever? No. He actually turned around and said, yes, I said it. It's locker room talk. And just that. It was assumed that it was in private, it wasn't recorded, and it was just between two guys. How many guys that watch my video have bullshitted with their friends and said something completely inappropriate that they would never say in front of their own mother, or their own sister, or their own children, or their own wife? I'm putting my hands up. I'm ex-military. I mumble what the fuck to myself at least 20 times before I even get out of bed. Let alone the, the dirty thoughts and ideas I have with my wife and the misfortune cosplay costume. Yeah. I, I don't hide it. I don't lie about it. I do have desires. I have a desire about my wife all the time. And before then, uh, it was Joanne Guest. Uh, let me... There you go. And then before then, it was Joanne Guest. I'm not going to show you anything else because the rest of her images are not safe for work. But, yeah. I, I doesn't mean I didn't. Uh, I don't evaluate or appreciate her. I do. I actually even met Joanne Guest once. And her exact words was, yeah, buy me a beer. So I did. I bought her a beer. I even told her, I'm like, look, as a kid, man, I would just write a few pictures and she laughed and giggled and said oh that's cute thank you and that was it it's not like it's something I, I hid or lied about like I said how many people out there heck I'm even I'm even friends with with, with porn actresses Riley Reed and Mercedes Carrera among others we, we talk all the time on Twitter about politics and other things Heck, uh, uh, I'm even in the process, once my co-host gets everything sorted out, I'm, I'm going to be doing a sit-down interview with her, with Mercedes Carrera. And we're going to be talking about politics, we're going to be talking about all you social justice warrior crybabies crying about how Trump become President of the United States, and not only that, but how Trump became President of the United States. We're actually going to break it down so that you sheeple can fucking take your blinkers off and actually learn something so that when the next presidential elect comes around you'll actually look at what they're saying and how they're going to fix it not what they're saying literally oh i'm going to build a wall a great big wall okay and how are you going to pay for this wall oh mexico is going to pay for it how are you, uh, how are you going to make mexico pay for it Do you see? Stop just oh, uh, 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 like a fucking sea lion. Just, just stop. 
Okay, just just stop. Because you look like a fucking idiot. Anyway, guys. Congratulations to President-elect Donald Trump. Commiserations to President non-elect Hillary Clinton. Um, what else is there to say? I live in the United States. I love living here in the United States. Am I going to go, oh, fuck this, I'm leaving America, I'm going to Canada? No. Nope. Made your bed, now lay in it. If you're a celebrity and you make a public statement of if X person becomes president, I'm leaving the country. Bye. Bye. Clearly then you're not American. Clearly you don't care about everything that makes America American. Clearly you are un-American. Then aren't you? It's that simple. It is that simple think before you open your fucking trap especially if you've got a follower base or a viewer base i did do a video on who i was going to vote for but i never posted i i, I not even uploaded it to youtube but i said it to go live at a specific time and i brought the video down i decided to just bring it down don't don't upload it. i i just killed it not because of uh, 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 the backlash that Casey Neistat got or whoever. No, no. It has to do with the fact that who the hell I'm voting for has fuck all to do with my followers. Okay? Literally. Fuck all to do with them. Anyway, guys. If you want to follow me, follow me on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash deceptive cobras. you want to follow me on Facebook, it's right here. Facebook.com slash group slash deceptive cobras. Links will be in the video description down below. Till then, guys. Take care, and I'll see you.